I'll come back. We're going to do round number 10. And it says A goes to the back. We are not there yet, but keep it in mind. Hang it already in the back. I think we did three only. Let me count. One, two, three. Yeah, we do the fourth immediately. For our double crochet, chain one. And it says two back. So we did this one. That's one. And it is two. And then one front and two back in the corner. One front. Two back. Skip one. There. Two back. In the corner. Two and three in total. Again, use that same two loops because it's just after the corner. Two back. One front. And then one back. And then we go in our second repeat. And do two back again. So in total three backs. One. Two. Three. One front. Two back in the corner. Skip one on your chain here. Find those two loops. Ooh. Always slip out from time to time. See, I really want two loops. Corner at two for having three. There. Again, the second back and one front. And we start our third repeat. After our front and back. Another back. And we start our third repeat with two in the back. One front. And two back in the corner. Get both loops. Corner in total three, one, two, and three, and again there. One back and the second back. One front. And one back and we start our last repeat. Two more back. Front. And two more back. One. Ooh. We do another one. One. And two. Skip one on your chain. Get 
boat loops. Make three for the corner in total. And we do again two back. One front and one back. And we finished almost around. One back here. And then we join with a slip stitch. Make sure when you hang that other collar. And that is collar A goes to the back. So make sure you hang that in the back. Find your stitch. This is one, two here. Chain two. Chain two. Take two loops, I mean. Chain two. Goodness me. Slip stitch through and one for the border only because this is our last row in this color. After this, we do a round of single crochets to make a little border around this. Okay, if you want to join for 11a, just follow me with clicking on the nest link.